Let's break down the difference between these two methods. Your hemoglobin A1c is a measure of how much glucose has attached to hemoglobin molecules found in red blood cells. While this is a helpful indication of your blood glucose trends in the long term, it can fall short if you're trying to improve your real-time diabetes control and prevent both highs and lows. Meals, exercise, and exogenous insulin all create fluctuations in your blood glucose levels, which can lead to alternating hypoglycemia and hyperglycemia throughout the day if not managed correctly. Your A1C value does not provide this type of accurate measurement of blood glucose fluctuations. It just provides a measurement of your average blood glucose value over 90 to 120 days. So your A1C is certainly helpful, but not as informative as your time in range. The largest landmark study supporting the use of time in range was the Diabetes Control and Complications Trial. It showed that through careful, intensive management, it was possible to avoid or lessen many of the long-term risks and complications of diabetes. So let's get into what we should be aiming for with a CGM. The time and range recommendations for each individual is different. Though many leading groups of organizations like the American Diabetes Association and other organizations have come to a recommended international consensus on a benchmark. This recommended blood glucose range is between 70 and 180 milligrams per deciliter. This is an excellent benchmark, but we recommend working closely with your doctor to determine the exact numbers you should be targeting. Now let's get into measurement. There are two ways to measure your time and range. The most accurate is through the use of a continuous glucose monitor with Dexcom as the current industry leader. The second is through the more old fashioned use of finger sticks throughout the day. Though not as accurate in terms of up to the minute monitoring of your blood glucose, this strategy can actually still be very effective. Taking finger sticks before and after meals, exercise, sleeping, or any other behaviors that can change the direction of your blood glucose trend can all help paint a reasonably accurate picture of how often you're in range. 